morning, everybody here at Gerwin Jewish. 10.30 in the morning, Friday morning. I hope everyone's doing well. I haven't had a great week. As you know, we're back to the virtual Oneg for hopefully just a little bit. We hope very, very soon we'll be back to our in-person Oneg Shabbat, which I encourage everybody to attend next Friday, 10.30 a.m. with so much fun and so wonderful being together with everyone for the Oneg Shabbat that we had. And we hope that next week we'll be able to continue with God's help in person and enjoy each other's company together. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Yashohorez, Malachi Yelyon. Mihi Melech, Malachi Yamlochem, Akadosh Baruchu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Yashohorez, Malachi Yelyon. Mihi melech malchay amloch im akadosh baruchu. Boachem le shalom, malachay ashalom, malachay el yon. Mihi melech malchay amloch im akadosh baruchu. Boacham le shalom, malachay ashalom, malachay el yon. Mihi melech malachay amloch im akadosh baruchu. Baruchuni le shalom, malachay ashalom, malachay el yon. Mihi melech mahalchay amloch im akadosh baruchu. Baruchu nile shalom alachay ashalom alachay el yon. Mihi melech mahalchay amloch im akadosh baruchu. Seizchem le shalom alachay ashalom alachay el yon. Mi melech mahalchay amloch im akadosh baruchu. Seizchem le shalom malachay ashalom malachay el yon. Mi melech mahalchay amloch im akadosh baruchu. In this week's Torah portion, we read about the commandment to appoint judges and appoint officers over us, which is a very, very unusual commandment if you think about it, because some of these things are basic fact, basic knowledge, to live in society. We have to have officers, we have to have judges. So what exactly is the lesson the Torah is teaching us by telling us to appoint judges for ourselves, make sure we have officers, make sure that society is run in this proper way? So one of the answers given to the following is that when the Torah tells us to appoint judges and officers, it doesn't mean physically appoint judges, make a police department, Make a court system that we already know, as we mentioned, as it's a law imperative on everyone to have court systems and have and have law and order in society. Without law and order in society, a person makes it very difficult to live. But when the Torah tells us to appoint judges and officers, it means on ourselves. We should judge ourselves. Are we doing the right thing? Are we not doing the right thing? We should appoint officers on ourselves, figurative officers. Asking ourselves questions. Hey, is this something which is appropriate I should be doing? Is this the right thing to do? And when we question ourselves, question our actions, and make sure that we're acting appropriately and doing the right thing, that will ensure that we do act properly, do act appropriately, and ultimately we stay in line. Because at the end of the day, we have to be our own judge, our own officer, to make sure that we act the right way. And if we're make mistakes, of course it happens, but right then and there we have to decide, you know what, this is a mistake. I do not want to let myself happen again. Hishmi Yahanu Kelam Yuchor Hashem Echod Ushmo Echod Shemo Sefer Ez Vilesila Lechad Odi Lekras Kala Pnei Shabbos Nekabela Lekras Shabbos Choven Elcha Kihi Mekor Haber Nacha Meirosh Mikedem Nesucha 
Shoma <laughs> Nei shabos ne kabelo his nari me al far kumi liv she big day se far tei chami al yad ben yish ay beis al lach me karva el nav she ge yahala lechad odi le cross kala nei shabos ne kabelo his oriri his oriri kivo rechumi yori. Uri Uri Shir Da Beri Kvod Hashem Olayik Nigla Lecha Dodi Kras Kala Pnei Shabos Nika Vila Lo Sev O Shiv Lo Sikomi Madish Olchachi Umatami Bohok Yeksu Aniya Ami Vinib Nitzo Ir Alti La Chado di le cross kala pnei shabos ne kabel ayamin usmo tefroti v'ez Hashem da hariti al yad ben yishai beis alach me karva el nach shege yala le chado di le cross kala pnei shabos ne kabel. Lo we be shalom at her rest, Bala. Gamberi no vita hala tochemune yam segula. Bowi kala, bowi kala, le chod odi le cross kala, pne shabos ne kabila. This week is the beginning of the month of Elul, the last month of year leading up to Rosh Hashanah. We'll speak more about Rosh Hashanah as the weeks come. But one of the things we start this month is the blowing of the shofar, blowing of the horn of the ram, which has many, many symbolizations related to it. Number one, it symbolizes a renewal and awakening, as the horn is like the alarm clock to wake us up from our sleep and get us ready for the new year. Another, another, another item which the horn represents, the blowing of the shofar, it represents the special miracle that happened when Abraham brought his son Isaac up to be slaughtered then ultimately saved him. For since the place of Isaac was a ram, to remember that we follow God's will at all costs, and God should remember that as well. And finally, it's a reminder of the final redemption, as we know, when the final redemption will take place, a loud horn, a shofar, gadol, will sound, and all of us will be ready to be brought back, brought back into Jerusalem. Adonolam asher malach v'terem kol yetzir nivra v'yais nasa v'chef so kol azay mehalech shemo nikra v'yachare k'chlos hakol levahado yimloch nohra v'uhaya v'uhove v'uhiyye b'sifara v'uhechad v'yain sheni Laham Shilo, Lahach Bira, Vili Rashis, Vili Sachlis, Vilo Ha Old, Raham Isra, Vihu Kaili, Vichai Goali, Vitor Havli, Vies Nasa, Vihu Nisi, Umanos, Liminas, Kosi, Vio Mekra, Via Hado, Avkid Ruchi. V'yaisi shan v'yai hira v'yim ruchi g'v'yasi ado shem li v'lo ira. And have a great Shabbat, have a great weekend, we'll see everybody next week.